WWE 2K14 in 2024. Let's revisit this masterpiece of a game. People say it's one of the greatest WWE games of all time. We've got 30 years of WrestleMania. We have universe mode. We got creation modes. We got my WWE. We can edit superstars that way. Let's get straight into it. So let's just have a look at the roster and see who was available during this time. All right, we got John Cena, 95, Jinder Mahal at SmackDown, Jack Swagger at 88, are you kidding me? Heath Slater, The Great Carly, Drew McIntyre, The Chosen One, Dolph Ziggler at 89, wow, he got a massive push, Dean Ambrose, Shield Dean Ambrose, that is crazy, what a throwback, David Otunga, Darren Young, Daniel Bryan at 90. Two, they were giving him a massive push. Damien Sandow. Cody Rhodes at 88. That's pretty good. That's really good. CM Punk at 94. They were definitely putting CM Punk up there as one of the greatest superstars ever. You know, the WWE 2K13, I believe, it was CM Punk on the cover. So they felt like this was CM Punk's year, but... Also, I think this was his last WWE game before he sort of walked out and everything. So, interesting. We even had Christian in the game. Just looking back at this time, like, so interesting. We got Chris Jericho, Brodus Clay. Wow. Brock Lesnar. Probably one of his first WWE games back as well, which is very interesting. We got the big show with that sort of beanie on. That was an interesting time. I believe he was World Heavyweight Champion during these times as well with Sheamus and everything. Cesaro, Alberto Del Rio. Can you believe what happened to him? So sad, but it's interesting to sort of look back 10 years ago and see what like the roster was. Like we had obviously Alberto Del Rio, Damian Sandow, people like that. Justin Gabriel, like he's not around anymore. We've got Kane with the mask on, that's interesting. Kofi Kingston. That would have been the Jamaican Kofi Kingston, I believe. Just before he turns into New Day, Kofi Kingston. Mark Henry. Wow, what a throwback with Mark Henry as well. He had a huge career, man. He was from like 1995 all the way to like, yeah, 2014. Yeah. I think this was one of his final years. We've even got The Miz at 89. Randy Orton, huge. Him and Christian had some great matches during these times. Rey Mysterio, of course, The Rock. Him and John Cena were like the lead of WrestleMania during this time, or it was like The Miz versus John Cena. That was the head of WrestleMania right there. We even have Roman Reigns coming in there, one of his first years, and he is rate 88 there. We got our truth Ryback, man. He was actually good. I think he was actually underrated. He could have easily been a world heavyweight champion and had a good run. Santino Morella, of course, one of the funniest superstars ever. Now he's like a TNA GM. We've got Seth Rollins there. One of the most awesome workhorses in WWE at the moment. He's definitely one of the best. Sheamus, more overall than Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. But Sheamus did become a World Heavyweight Champion during this time when he was fighting against like the Big Show and stuff. We got Sin Cara. What a throwback with Sin Cara. He is definitely not around anymore. We got Tensai. Now, as we know, he's like a WWE performance trainer or something like that. So that's where he's ended up. Titus O'Neil. He's sort of fizzled out, Mark. Like, he didn't really do anything. But Triple H, of course, the legend Triple H, he is retired now. And yes, he's one of the best wrestlers to ever do it in the ring. Of course, The Undertaker, one of his final years, it was Brock Lesnar versus The Undertaker during this time, I believe. And that is when The Undertaker lost his streak. So sad. We got Wade Barrett at 87. Wow. And Zack Ryder, what? Oh, dude, yes. He has become huge on the independent scene. If you guys didn't see, he versed Edge in a match and it was actually awesome. 
so cool to see. It's the same with like Wade Barrett will happen. Like obviously they buried him a little bit, but became a really good commentator. And now he's still, he's still involved in the business like full time. So that's really good news. Let's go like The Rock. Oh, that is awesome. Versus John Cena because they are both 95 rated. They're two of the top superstars. We can select different arenas. We got WrestleMania, Hell in a Cell, TLC, Extreme Rules, all of these incredible things. We do have unlockables. Let's have some fun. Let's see what the gameplay is like. The load times. This is on the Xbox 360 for you guys that don't know. I had to turn the music off because of creator mode, but it's so interesting to see these graphics. You know what? They actually look really good, to be honest. This is really, really solid. I think, obviously, it's still 10 years ago. We had really good graphics, but this looks fantastic, man. Even for the Xbox 360. Wow. Awesome. I love seeing the entrances, man. So awesome. Da, 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 da. Crowd looks good. Da, 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 Ooh, come on. Da, 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 da. Hustle, loyalty, respect. This was definitely a time when John Cena was wearing some funky colors. We had pink John Cena. We have yellow John Cena. You know, so cool. Definitely one of the goats. Definitely one of the greatest of all time. If not like the greatest of all time, John Cena, man. He definitely carried WWE through so many years, through the PG era, of course. Um, I think he could have even done more, like, honestly. If it wasn't PG, I reckon people would have loved him even more. You know what I mean? So, what a awesome throwback. All right, let's wrestle against John Cena. Let's see what it's like. All right, we got these reversals. Nice. Nice, that's pretty good. Classic rock right there, man. Classic rock. Nice. All right, we're just pinning him already. Obviously, I'm just getting used to the controls, but I think I'm already there. So it's LB and X to do special moves, stuff like that. The controls seem a lot easier than some of the latest WWE games. I like it. I like it a lot. This is classic rock stuff right here, man. Got that attitude era type of fighting going on over here, man. Love it, man. Love it. There we go. Another cool move. Boom. Nice. That's some cool moves. If you have some variations, so you could press LT and X to do some different moves. What does LT and square do? Okay, not much. Not much at all. Oh, he got me there. All right, we can do some easy reversals. Gameplay seems really solid in this. I'm liking this a little bit more than WW2K24, to be honest, man. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Crowd looks good. Like, obviously you got that Xbox 360 glow with like some of these moves, man. Oh, not the referee. So these reversals, you gotta time them perfectly because some of them, I've done it too fast, too slow, you know what I mean? So, you gotta time them perfectly. There we go, got him. Nice. Side Russian leg sweep. I can't wait to see a finisher of some sort. Let's see if I can time it perfectly for a reversal. Nah, too fast. Definitely trying to get on that reversal. Damn, he's he's smashing me at the moment, man. There we go. We got another big move. Oh, he's making a comeback. Oh, no. Nice. That's sick. Boom. I love these cutscenes. Cutscenes are looking good, man. Oh, we could do signature. Let's do a signature. Right, so he's got like a submission as like a signature. Interesting. Cool, man. 
There's lots of variation with like what you could do with everything, so very cool. Oh, oh, oh! We gotta, we gotta time this perfectly, man. Nice move by John Cena right there. He's gonna hit us with the five knuckle shuffle. Obviously, this is how WrestleMania ended when they first fought against each other, and he reversed it with the rock button. Nice, man. Go on, then. Pick me up. Pick me up. Nice. We just achieved an unlockable right there. Watch out. Very nice. Oh. Oh, he got me there with that one. First time playing this, but we're, we're getting used to it, man. We're having a good time. Oh, he taunted me. What? John Cena never does that. There we go. We got resilience. We got resilience. Oh, no. Breaking point. We're going to tap out. Oh, man. We didn't even get to see a finisher. That's all right. There we go. Cena wins by way of submission. That was more like a Danny Bryan thing. Oh, we got cool replays. I don't know why that's a replay out of anything that we just did, but that's fine. All good. Pretty cool, right? I oh, see so you could do like different camera angles and everything with that. That's pretty cool. This is a pretty fun game, like overall, man. I definitely like it. And I like the roster. They got they got a lot of variation. I think they definitely have a big roster. They got people from like Daniel Bryan, we got the Shield, stuff like that as well. Oh, dude, there's the 30 years of WrestleMania, so that was obviously, yeah, just 30 years of WrestleMania, man. They got this mad thing going on over here, man. So sick. Obviously, can't play the music, but this is awesome. Good old Vince McMahon in 1985 with the first level of WrestleMania, back when Andre the Giant was versing Hulk Hogan in WrestleMania 2. Picked him up, and it was one of the biggest moments ever in WrestleMania history. So cool. In WWE 2K24, you've got the 40 years of WrestleMania as well. So there's definitely a lot in there as well. But it's pretty awesome that we get this intro cinematic with everything. Yeah, man. WWE just like has this magic during these times. And yeah, back in 2014, it was like the start of the Shield sort of run and everything. So that definitely changed WWE for the better and everything. We had... Huge John Cena run there as well. We had a lot of things. The Rock coming in there. Brock Lesnar, like the start of Brock Lesnar during these times. The Daniel Bryan thing as well, just before he really took off as well. Things we could do. We could do the streak. That's pretty cool. You do Hulk Hogan's uh, Hulkamania run wild sort of stuff. And you can unlock other things as well. That's pretty cool with the streak, like what you could do with there. That's mad. So... You gotta defeat the streak and stuff like that. That's pretty cool, man. All right, we got WWE Universe mode as well that we can explore. So basically, it just goes straight into it, but you can customize the universe however you like. Maybe you can create like a, a random universe however you like. It's probably the most fun thing about this. So back in this time, we had John Cena as WWE Champion, Dean Ambrose as United States Champion, we got Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins as Tag Team Champions, and AJ Lee. I didn't even go into the female roster. I need to quickly overview the female roster too and just see who was around during this time. Yeah, so pretty small, but we had AJ Lee. We did have Aksana, wow. Caitlin, Layla, Natalia's the only one that's like still around. Of course, Stephanie McMahon, but there is just not much there, bro. Let's see if there's any legends as well. We need to see the match types too. So we got Extreme Rules, Hell in a Cell, I quit. Inferno match? That would have been one of the first ones to have like a proper Inferno match. That's so unique. Let's quickly have a look at the Inferno match. Of course, we got to have Kane in this match. Maybe versus The Undertaker? Like, why not? We got so much to check out with this game. It's so interesting. All right, Inferno match. All right, we got Kane coming in nice and hot. Literally nice and hot with the pyro. Nice. Awesome. What an awesome, awesome, awesome entrance. Back in this time, he versed like John Cena 
in an ambulance match. I remember that as well. And John Cena, like, FU'd him from the top of the ambulance. That would have been interesting to see. We got, we got The Undertaker. This would have been one of his last years in WWE full-time. Now he is appearing just in random things. Um, so he did, like, this mad entrance for this Saudi Arabian football team with Ronaldo. He's just standing there laughing. So funny to see, but it was awesome. All right, so they had this Inferno match happening. It's so interesting, man. Nice. Nice, bro. You can really see how tall they are in this as well. Interesting. Wow, whoa, so each move, like, it would start the fire a bit more as well. Interesting. Nice. Wouldn't it get hot if you like hit the ropes? So cool, man. And they had like the little pyro box as well. Interesting. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, what? What's gonna happen? So he has to like push him out. Interesting. Right, let's see what happens. It's obviously Kane's like speciality with this match. Who even came up with this mad idea of this? Whoa, Undertaker went flying there. <laughs> I don't think that would ever happen in real life, man. I mean, Kane was pretty strong, but I don't know. Remember when Kane and MVP had an Inferno match? That was interesting as well. Boom. It's so sick with those effects, man. So sick. What a throwback. They don't even have this with the new WWE game, so this is definitely a first for the game. You got you can create your own logo in this game as well. That's that's so interesting. Create your own story. Cool, man. I like that. I like how you can create your own like story and stuff like that. Definitely a very unique feature in this game. Very cool. Wow, I chose Dolph Ziggler as World Heavyweight Champion as well. Interesting. So you can create your own stories, and that's how people do these like WWE 2K scenes and everything. That's mad. I never got fully into this, so this is awesome. Wow. So that's how people like create these like videos where these WWE superstars are like cutting like a promo and stuff like that, and they they do this full like mad, mad, mad story with it. That's so cool. You can do tournaments. We could do a King of the Ring tournament. That's awesome. So you could say, I want the top eight superstars in here. That's perfect, man. I love that. You say like the top eight superstars in wrestling. So you would obviously have like Undertaker. You would have Brock Lesnar, obviously. You would have CM Punk in there. Maybe Chris Jericho is up there as well. He's one of the top superstars. Ah, oh, Kane. Kane's actually up there. So John Cena versus Kane. And The Rock. Wow, what a throwback with that one. So you can finalize that. So you do this whole like King of the Ring thing. Or you simulate each match. And we can create like a cool King of the Ring real quick. This sounds fun. Let's just simulate who's the best superstar in this game. Let's find out. We've got The Rock coming up. John Cena versus Kane. I think John Cena will probably win. Very cool. All right, Undertaker versus CM Punk was like a WrestleMania main event. Who's gonna win it? Undertaker's gonna win it. I think that would happen in real life too. We got The Rock versus Undertaker in the finals. Two of the best superstars to ever do it. Will The Undertaker prevail? The Rock prevailed. Awesome, there you go. There's a King of the Ring right there for you. Nice. It's cool that we have that, that King of the Ring mode. It's definitely something that was missing out of some previous WWE games that I really needed. You do tag team. You can do this gold rush mode as well. That's awesome. Also the Intercontinental Champion, Wade Barrett. They've got the World Heavyweight Champion. They've got a light, wait, wait, light heavyweight championship. Like when did they ever have that? They've got Intercontinental Championship, Cruiserweight, European, Hardcore. Internet Champion, Zack Ryder. ECW Championship, so they actually included that. 
There's mad things that you could do with this. You got the free agents as well. So cool, man. I think I did well with this game. Overall, really mad experience playing this game. What a throwback from 10 years ago to today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate y'all. I'll see you guys soon.